Ambassador, it's really an honor to have you with us. You have been living in China as ambassador for um, almost six months. So if we look back a little bit, what are the key words of your China experience so far? First of all, let me thank you and let me thank China Daily for the opportunity to be here. I appreciate this opportunity because it's a chance to express some of my thoughts having been in China for six months. Let me begin by saying that the experience here at this point in time, I would describe as overwhelming. Oh, I'm wow. overwhelmed by the reality that is China, a country with 1.34 billion people, with an economy that is growing at 7.5% annually, um, a country that has seen tremendous growth and economic transformation in the last 30 years since reform and opening up, a country that has seen some 300 million people leave poverty and enter the middle class, a country uh, that clearly has defined a future where you consider that there must be a balance between economic development and the environment, I am fascinated by your country, and I'm fascinated by the management, the coordination, and the governance of the process of change that has occurred in your country without social or financial crises. This is admirable, and I think this is something that all Chinese should be proud of. Yes, thank you for that, Ambassador. Um, Ambassador, when Barbados is mentioned in China, Probably some people know it's a stunning Caribbean country, and some people may even know it's hometown of Rihanna. But for many of them, they may not have a very distinctly clear picture of what is the modern side of Barbados. Could you give some introduction on that part? Barbados is a small Caribbean country located in the Eastern Caribbean, actually is one of the most Eastern islands of the Caribbean region. A small country of 166 square miles or 430 square kilometers, we have a population of some 280,000 people. Um, 280,000 proud people who are currently celebrating 48 years of independence. We obtained our independence from Great Britain in 1966, after being a colony for some 300 years. And so our country is uh, based on English tradition, English legal systems, and a strong parliamentary democracy, which is part of the British Commonwealth. We, in fact, belong to many of the regional institutions, such as CARICOM, the Caribbean uh, community. Uh, we are also part of the Organization of American States and, of course, members of the United Nations system. In that regard, our country came out of uh, colonialism in uh, development based primarily on the production of sugar from sugarcane. In other words, we were an agricultural economy and a rural society. Over the last 30 years or so, I would say that we have transformed our economy to a modern economy where the economy is based primarily on tourism and international financial business. Tourism contributing some 15% to the gross domestic product. Barbados is considered a leading country in CARICOM, in the Caribbean community, and I would say one of the most successful Caribbean countries. We are rated as third in the Americas in Human Development Index. We have a high per capita income. We have a very educated labor force, very modern systems of technological infrastructure, a modern airport that is linked to the major cities of the West, mainly London, London, New York, Miami. It is easy to get to us from there. And uh, to a large extent, we boast uh, a world-class tourism industry and world-class financial services. Yeah. So in one word, it could be a very successful developed countries in Caribbean area. We are on our way. Mm -hmm. We have a long way to go. There are challenges we face going forward. But I would say that given our basic infrastructure and given the high quality of our people, our educated people, I think that we are on our way to development. 
Well, we were very pleased to have the visit of the Premier to our country. We were also pleased to have the visit of your President, mm -hmm. who came to Trinidad and Tobago and met with all the leaders of the Caribbean. We believe that his visit is a signal honor to the Caribbean and also an expression of China's commitment to cooperation with the Caribbean countries. At the moment, we see China as a very important strategic partner. We are very impressed by China's willingness to share its success with the developing world, mm -hmm. and we would like to be part of that success. Mm -hmm. We are currently discussing with China initiatives for support in the areas of infrastructure and tourism development. But there are also opportunities for support and for private enterprise to collaborate with us in areas such as renewable energy, food production. We also see opportunities for collaboration with our university, mm -hmm. for the exchange of students, exchange of professors, exchange of information, exchange of research and technology. And recently, there's a proposal to establish a Confucius Center mm -hmm. in Barbados at the University of the West Indies at Cave Hill. Mm. And we see this as an important initiative to strengthen collaboration between China and Barbados, for Barbadians to learn more about China, and also for Chinese to learn more about Barbados, because we would like to see more Chinese come to Barbados, to learn English, to come as tourists, and to come to our country to invest. Mm. We believe that there are great opportunities for investment in Barbados from China. Ambassador, an increasing number of Chinese tourists.